Hi everyone. For this tutorial today, I'm going to show you how to change the background colour of an index page uh, in a Squarespace website. And this applies to the Brine template or any of the templates uh, in the Brine family. Now I've made this example site and it's just made up of four index pages. I've got my header here, an about section, some featured posts, a contact me and a bit of a gallery here at the bottom. Um, I've just put in dummy text and some stock images because it's just for a demonstration. So what we want to do is we want to change the colour of one of these index pages but not all of them. So I'm going to do the contact me section. I want to make this a green in the back but obviously I want this bit and this bit to stay white. Um, you might think that the way to do this would be to go into your style settings, go to background, scroll down to contact me, go to the background, paste in my hex code, and it does turn this the green that I want, but of course it also changes all of the other sections as well. So I'm going to put this back to white. There's been a lot of tutorials I've seen online where people have done this in um, a roundabout way, but it's definitely not the best way, and I'm going to show you why. The version of this tutorial I've seen involves putting a background image and putting, turning the index page into a banner. So I've made an image that is the green colour. So first of all, this isn't a great option because some people don't really have the software to make something like this. It also means they are adding a really large image to your page, which will make your page load slower, um, which is bad for usability and also not great for your SEO either. Google likes pages that load really, really quickly. But the biggest problem, I think, is aesthetically because, as you can see, in my case, it has not come up in that green colour. And that is because I have an overlay set for my banners. This is my heading and I want to have this nice pink purple overlay um, and my heading text on a, on a banner to come up in white. It means that it's put that overlay over this as well because it's changed from an index page to a banner and my text has also gone to white and that isn't what I wanted. All I wanted was just to change the background colour um, to green and I haven't even managed to do that. So this isn't really the best way of doing it. What I'm going to do is remove that and we're going to do it using a really simple piece of CSS coding. Now some people are kind of freaked out by the idea of using CSS. If you're someone who's never done it before uh, and you think that you can't do it then this actually is a really really easy way um, to try it out. So you're going to go to your navigation, to the page that you want and contact me, click on the gear icon and you want to go down here to find the URL slug. So this is the name that Squarespace uses to organize your pages and in my case it's contact hyphen me. It's normally uh, the same as whatever your nav navigation title is but it's best to just go and check so for me it's contact hyphen me and then I'm going to go into design CSS scroll down so we can see the page that we're looking at and it's really easy you just want to put in a full stop or a period if you're in the US collection hyphen type hyphen index hashtag and then your URL slug so for me that was contact hyphen me then you're going to put in, in the brackets, background, colon, and then the hex code for the colour that you want. And as you can see, that has now changed that background to the green that I wanted. Uh, I've kept the regular text style, and all of the other pages have stayed having the background that they are supposed to. And I've still got my overlay up here just as I want it. Um, I'm going to do another post on finding out hex codes and where you can find codes or if you've already got existing branding find what the codes are for those particular colours uh, but if it's something you just want to have a play around with and you're not sure of your hex codes yet what you can do is I'm going to do this for um, this page here which I think the slug is featured 
is background and you can actually just type in the name of a color now these are really basic colors um, so they don't look too great but if you just wanted to have a go on your site and see um, if you can get this to work then you can just do it by typing in green or, or, or red um, the best thing to do though of course is to put in your hex code so you can get the perfect color um, and you can do this for every index page you can do as many as you want or as few as you want uh, and yeah I hope that was straightforward for everybody we just click save and we've got it one of our index pages with a different background color to all of the others thanks for watching if you like this video uh, like or subscribe I'm posting Squarespace uh, SOS help videos once a week and comment if this helped you send me a link to your site so I can see how you used it and also if you've got any questions or anything you want me to answer anything you want to find out about uh, you want me to do a tutorial video on you can comment that in the comment section below as well thanks guys